Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And guys, I'm back with another video on prediction of lines when it is inclined to both HP and VP. So we've got a line AB 65 mm long, true length. Well, that's 65. Has its end A 20 mm above HP. So HA, it's 20 mm and 25 mm in front of VP and DA is 25 okay what else the end b is 40 mm above hp sounds interesting so end b <coughs> let me write this hb has been given as 40 and 65 mm in front of vp so none of the lengths i think the true true length is given okay uh, we have not been given alpha beta theta phi we have not been given front view length, we have not been given top view length. The only stuff that we have been given is the exact or precise location of the endpoints. DB is equal to 65. So what we do? Here we go. Let's draw the reference line. For point A, let's use this. H above and D below. H above 20 and D below. That is 25. Now. We need to precisely locate B dash or B1 dash, whatever. It's going to be somewhere here and it's going to be here in the top view. We know very well that point B is at a height of 40 mm like this. So make a construction line this way. This is 40 mm high. Just make a very light construction line. And in the same manner, point B should be 65 mm away from the vertical plane. So this distance is going to be 65 in the top view from the distance has to be taken from the reference line. Somewhere along this line, we'll have end point B1 dash and somewhere along this line, we'll have end point B2. And precisely what I'm trying to say is this, let me show all these two data also have been used. Now with this fellow A dash as the center and with radius of 65, cut an arc over here. Okay, this arc is having a radii of 65 and center as a dash. Let me join it. This is the true length. In the same manner with A as center and again with 65 as the radius cut an arc, this point when you join it with A, that's it. So this is true length above xy, this is true length below xy. This angle over here will be regarded as theta, this angle over here will be regarded as phi. Simple. Now let me have the locus lines from <coughs> for A in front view and for A in top view. So just drop a line from B1 dash until we reach here. This point is B1 corresponding to B1 dash. Drop a line from B2 in the upward direction. Okay. Okay. But before that, let us precisely locate B, B rather. So with A as the center and with A, B1 as the radius, rotate it in the clockwise sense, you will reach somewhere here. This point is the precise location of B. You can go straight upwards. That will give you the position of point B dash. There is one more way by which you can do so and that's let me show you okay go straight up then a dash as center and with a dash b2 dash as the radius rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense this is what you are going to get that's going to be point b dash join b dash with a dash to have the final front view and if you want to check you can you can draw a line or drop a line rather from B dash, it is going to exactly coincide at this point B if it's straight vertical line. That will happen for sure. And guys, finally, all these angles, that's theta, that's phi, you know very well, that's alpha, and that's beta. Well, alpha and beta are the angles that the final front view and the final top view of the line makes. Okay. And finally, these are the, their values. You can go ahead and make a match. So guys, that was all for today from my side. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.